AutoCAD has several ways to open files and access them while you're working. In this section, we're going to look at file tabs. File tabs are found right here below the ribbon. Every open file will have a file tab. They look like the tabs from an old file folder that you would use in a filing cabinet, you know, thus the name. They're very simple to use. Now, there is a tab displayed for every file that you have opened, as I said earlier, and you just click that tab of the file that you want to make current. So if I have a second file, let's just open something up and open up something I have on my hard drive. And you can just open up another file or you can just watch along. Okay, now you see here that I have two files, drawing number one and then this 3D seating file. To get to either one, I just click on the file tab that I want and that will activate or make current that file. File tabs are a very nice visual display that give you quick access to your opened files. Now the tabs will be displayed in the order that you open the files. Of course you can drag and drop the tabs to change their order if you want. Just left click and drag it over. Now if you have a bazillion files open and there isn't enough room to display all of them, the tabs will create an overflow menu at the right of the file tabs bar and provide easy access. So I'm going to kind of show you that real quick. I'm going to open up a whole bunch of files and this will take a few seconds for it to open all these. But as you can see, the tabs are being displayed as the files are being opened. Now once all of your files are opened up, you can get to any of them just by clicking on the appropriate tab. Now you can see this little arrow here on the far right. If I click on it, that will create a pull down menu of all of my files that I have open. Now I just click on the one that I want to, and I can get back to it. So it's pretty easy and straightforward to use. Now if a file is opened as read only file, you can see here this file called legs finished has a little lock icon on here. That means I can't save the file. So that's a nice little feature to help you know that that is a read only file. Now sometimes you'll see an asterisk by a file as in drawing one. That means that the file has been modified but not saved yet. It's a nice little visual cue that I found very useful. When you pass the cursor over a file tab, preview images of your model and layout tabs are going to be displayed. So if you just click on any of those, you can go to that model space tab for that file, or you can go to your layout tab for that file. We'll talk more about paper space and layout and model tabs later on. Now when you hover over one of these options, you get a plot, or a publish option. You can do that for your model space tab or for a paper space tab. Now that will allow you to print or publish that one drawing. You may have noticed this plus icon over here on the far right. This enables you to easily create new drawings automatically. So if you click it, it brings you to what's called the new tab. Now the new tab is where you can get a lot of different information. Here you can go to recent documents. So if it's something you've had open recently, you can click on it and it will open. Or you can go to the get started section. Here if you click, it will take you to your templates and you can get to your different template files and you can start a new drawing from there. Here you can go to open files, open a sheet set, or get more templates online or explore some sample files. So once you click that plus sign, you can start to create a new file. Click on the templates, I'm going to click acad.dwt and start a new drawing. Of course, if you want to close any of these files, just go to the tab, go to the little X in the right side of it and click it. If you've made some changes to the file, it'll ask you if you want to save the file first. So for example here, if I just zoom in or pan, even draw a line, now I've made some changes and you'll notice the little asterisk is here. Now when I click on it to close, it'll say, hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to save it? Say yes or no. I'm going to say no because I don't want to at this time. Now if you go to the ribbon and you go to the view tab, you'll see a little button here in the interface panel called file tabs. If you click it, it'll turn them off. If you click it again, it'll turn them back on. So if you want to use them or you don't want to use them, that's completely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and leave them on because when I work, I usually have multiple files open at one time and I need to navigate quickly between them. So I usually leave it on. 
but it's all completely up to you. If you need this little bit of drawing space back into your drawing area, that's perfectly fine. 